months? I'm only a year old. What do you expect? I read a little bit about cooking steaks on Wikipedia before this. Nick, I don't know if you know or not, but when you're choosing a steak, you're supposed to get all the different sides. I don't know if you're trying to get in my head or what you're doing, but it's not going to work. I'm ready to cook. You know how to turn on the burner? Of course. I'm just going to twist this knob real quick, and there it is. Nice job. All right, I'm just going to grab my... Sorry about that. That's all right. That's all right. Pick it up real quick. Okay. That is impressive. Do you mind if I borrow that? Yeah, let me just grab it for you real quick. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, perfect. So our oil is in both of our pans. I think my oil is getting to that temp that I'm ready to put my steak in. What about you? Me too. Uh, Nick, would you mind giving me that spatula over there? Yeah, absolutely. Not a problem at all. Just going to pick it up nice and careful here. And just like that. Nice wow. and easy. Here, are you ready for this sound? Yeah, let's see it. Pretty good. When you sear, you just want to make sure it's fully flat to get the best sear possible on the bottom of the steak. So I'm just applying some light pressure with the spatula here. I'm going for the flip, Nick. Check this out. And there it is. Oh my gosh. No way you just did that. All right, I'm going to go for my flip now. Mine doesn't look as good as yours. All right, Nick, I'm going to go in for the butter. Three, two, one, and... What? You're actually butter basting now. Yep. How do you even know what that is? Uh, I was watching a lot of Food Network last week. Mine's actually done. I'm going to go ahead and start resting it. I'm not allowed to use knives, so could you help me? I just need those potatoes behind me over there. Just chop those up real quick, and uh, I'm just going to make a quick side dish. Hey, Nick, could you just grab me a plate over there? You're going to keep bossing me around. And put it right there. Just rest that for like five-ish minutes. That'd be pretty good. Bring those potatoes over right about here. Okay. I'll just grab them. All right, I'm just going to add a couple into the pan here. Can I have this service now, please? Listen, I, I this is it. I'm not helping you anymore. I need to make my chimichurri. Now I'm going to go in with a bit of olive oil, then a nice splash of white wine vinegar, then some garlic, fresh parsley. Whoa. Just a touch of paprika, a few red pepper flakes, a bit of garlic powder, a touch of salt, a good amount of fresh cracked pepper, and last but not least, my secret ingredient. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. A few pistachios. You see what you're up against right now? Yeah, that's, that's advanced stuff. Here we go. You want to taste? That's real funny, Nick. Let's just cut the steak. Congratulations, Neo. We finished cooking both of our steaks. The question now is, whose do we cut into first? I think you got to definitely go with yours. The pressure is on for both of us. That's right. I'm going to cut right in the middle. I'm going to give you a sneak peek first. What do you think? Not too shabby. You can be honest with me. Are you nervous? I'm a little nervous. It is my first time cooking a steak. Moment of truth, okay? Three, two, one. Look at that. As much as I hate to admit it, it looks like Neo also got a perfect medium rare. Before you all vote in the comments below who won this challenge, I won the first level, then the robots won round two with that amazing spaghetti puttanesca. So it all comes down to this, level three. Neo, why don't you explain your dish first? So I prepared for you a filet mignon, perfect medium rare, and as you can see, we have these beautiful potatoes as well as some perfectly seared asparagus.